Thousands of homeowners on Indy South Side are breathing a sigh of relief tonight. Indot is changing its plans for adding sound walls near 465 and 65. RTV6 reporter Kara Kenny joins us with today's development. Kara. That's right, Todd. The project is called Operation Indy Commute, and it includes adding lanes at 465 and 65 on the south side. Now, INDOT plans to spend $3.8 million on sound barriers for the project, but as we told you in October, not every neighborhood was included. But according to these letters from INDOT, the agency is reconsidering. People who live in Moss Creek say the noise has been growing over the past 20 years. But they say INDOT's plans to add lanes at 65 and 465 will only make the noise worse. We're a family that likes having the windows open. And at nighttime, we've got to shut them because it's just it's too loud. Previous plans for Operation Indy Commute did not include sound barriers in front of Moss Creek. But residents like Scott Whitlock just got some encouraging news. Extremely excited. According to this June 10th INDOT letter to lawmakers, plans now include a sound wall on I-65 northbound near Gray Road. I felt like, like we won something. Right in front of Moss Creek. So I'm really looking forward to being able to be in the backyard, carry on a conversation with somebody, and not feel like, you know, I'm out on a ball diamond screaming out to an outfielder. I hope that my wife can come out the front door and call me on the side porch and I can hear her. INDOT says it plans to save money by moving the sound wall bids to a separate contract. Representative Mike Speedy, who lives in Moss Creek and has been fighting for the additional sound wall, told us, quote, I'm grateful they listened to the constituents and took a closer look at the sound studies and found a creative way to fit the walls within the budget. Speedy says the barrier will impact hundreds of homeowners and the property values of thousands. Oh, I just think it's going to be a lot more peaceful and a, a lot more pleasant place to live. Now, INDOT plans to have a public hearing later this year to go over the proposed walls and the construction process. It's unclear how adding the Moss Creek sound wall will impact the overall cost of the project, but Representative Speedy estimates it will cost about half a million dollars. Kara Kenny, RTV6.